What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. I got this thing I've been putting together and uh, it's for my tow truck, uh, my wheel lift. And uh, I get a little bit excited getting started on some of this stuff. And uh, originally I was gonna wait until I got a different truck so I could put this one in the shop and do some work on it and work on building this thing. And uh, I get a little bit excited and started working on it before I got my other truck. But it's still gonna have to wait until I can actually put this truck aside to actually do some work on it to get this thing all put on here. And there's still some stuff as far as materials and hydraulic stuff I haven't got all together yet. And I'm still working on collecting all that. But I wanna show you all how I put how I put this particular part of it together and get into all that. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and everything. And, I, this is the type of stuff I love. I mean, I love this even more than doing automotive stuff. Just the uh, fabrication side and all that good stuff. And uh, it's, I guess you could say it's a passion of mine. I really like doing. Someday in the future, I hope to have my own shop, uh, welding shop, fabrication shop. I may even do some CNC work too, but we'll see if I ever get to that point. But that's the plan someday in the future. And a uh, side note, my video, content that I create I hope to create an atmosphere of entertainment but not just entertainment I want to be able to make educational entertainment and uh, we all know end of the work day the stuff we enjoy uh, this type of stuff I know I especially enjoy getting online and seeing what other people are up to and what other people are building and what they're getting into and uh, there is an entertainment side to that, but my goal is to make it as educational as I can and make it fun and interesting and unique. And uh, I want to produce content that way and put it out there and so you all can learn something and uh, I can learn something too. I've been getting into all this hydraulic stuff for this wheel left I'm working on and uh, just last night I got online and was looking up hydraulic symbol. Uh, different symbols for hydraulic diagrams and drawings and all that and uh, learned quite a bit and all that and eventually that'll filter through onto the channel and all that good stuff but I mean I've learned a lot working and looking up all this type of stuff and I've done plenty of hydraulic stuff in the past but I never really built something this extravagant from scratch so it's going to be an experience for sure and uh, going to be something we all can learn from so Let's get into it here. All right, this is what I've been putting together. So this is the main boom, I guess you could call it. So the actual wheel lift part, I'm gonna end up welding a round uh, pivot point on this. The actual wheel lift part is gonna go across there and then you're gonna have your arms that lock around the tires. So this extends 40 inches. It is gonna stick out off the bumper of my truck about maybe a foot or so so when it extends all the way out it's going to be about 50 inches from the bumper which should be plenty to get a vehicle on there and still turn corners and do pretty sharp backups and all that so I'm going to kind of tear this apart and show you how I put this together uh, it's going to be a little loud I'm going to take it apart with my impact and just kind of go piece by piece and see I'll show you all how I did this and uh, I do apologize if the audio is a little weird and I sound a little off I've been a little bit under the weather and uh, recovering doing pretty well but the uh, last couple days I've not felt the world's greatest so I do apologize for that but let's get into it here so first of all this is the end of the hydraulic cylinder and uh, I've been running it on air pressure just because I don't have my hoses all set up yet. Uh, this is how I got this half inch bolt. Uh, it threads into, this side is tapped half inch bolt thread. And it just fits through there. Now that's all loose. Uh, let me grab. So the way I have this set up, uh, you'll understand more when I get it apart. Uh, these 3 8 bolts, four of them, grade eight, and they're tapped into the slide. 
piece. And that piece is also the stop that keeps it from sliding out. That piece there, I'm gonna try to do this one handed, but I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard here. All right, I'll show you here this. It's quite heavy. This is the end of the cylinder. I built this plate that bolts right on the end of there. These bolts are also tapped into it. I'm gonna pull this apart as well. pause this for a second and uh, pull this apart and then uh, show you all the different pieces all right, so this is what we got here this is my cylinder you see how I have my fittings set up there and yes these are iron pipe and brass fittings all quarter inch pipe thread and uh, not normally used for hydraulics but they will withstand the pressure and it's what application I had to work with here but and uh, this is inch and a half bore by 40 inch stroke. You see how I got this bracket on here. Just those two rods come through there. Had to countersink them so the nuts had enough threads on them. And uh, there is two holes that are tapped into the actual block of the cylinder. And then I drilled and tapped those in, the, in there. That's what those four bolts are that go into the bottom of there. Uh, this right here is the rear stop for the actual whole ram of it. That hits right on here. Uh, this slides obviously inside that, which is a four inch tube. And uh, it's the rear stop. It butts up against that and then that right there. As you can see, I had to modify this originally had a pin on each side. I had to cut it and grind it to slide in the four inch tube, modify that. I don't know what for sure this cylinder came off of. I got it used for super cheap. And uh, yeah, then I had to make this guide. I just welded it directly to the plate on the end of the cylinder and that prevents this from slapping up inside the four inch tube and hitting the fitting here. So uh, it's gonna end up with grease and everything on it to keep it from wearing very quick, but there's really no force on it at all. It just slides through there really easy. And you see a notch cut out of here. That's for the weld seam inside the four inch tube. Uh, this is a five inch tube. This is a four inch tube and uh, this slides inside. And the reason I chose the one inch difference was so I could do the plates like this because you gotta have a way to keep it from sliding out. It's the best way I thought of. And uh, this fits on here. These are the four bolts that go in there. And uh, that butts right up against that. That's the stop that keeps it from coming all the way out. So you can kind of see how this fits together put this in that tube, slide this in there, put your four bolts in, slide the cylinder in the back, put the four bolts in the bottom, and then put that half inch bolt through the end hole down there. And that's how it all fits together.
So yeah, a little bit of thought was put into this. Actually more like a lot of bit of thought. And uh, it didn't take me super long putting it together. Uh, definitely thought out quite a bit of how it was gonna work before I put it together. And uh, yeah, I, I love putting things together like this. And uh, as you can see, it's worked out pretty well. And uh, the rest of the wheel left part is gonna go on the end of there. It's gonna have the arms that fold out hydraulically automatic to lock over the wheels. Yeah, it's all, all gonna be running off that pump. So this main boom is gonna have a piece welded on here. And it's all gonna fit onto a frame that bolts to the truck. And uh, this big cylinder I got up here, it's a four inch by 10 inch stroke. Uh, that is going to be what operates the raising and lowering of it. And uh, we'll see how it all plays out, but it's coming together pretty well. And uh, it's gonna be a while before I get it all done. Like I said, I gotta be able to put my truck aside and have it actually torn down for probably a couple weeks to get all this set up. But, but yeah, it's really coming together. I'm really happy with it. And uh, I'll keep doing it. It'll be kind of like a series every so often when I get a, another part made or when I'm working on something, I'll shoot a little bit of it. And uh, I was originally going to try to record actual building it, but I mean, a lot of different short amounts of time, lunch hour, this and that when I work on this and it's almost impossible to record that much time that many small increments and put it all together so I'm just gonna start each section that I get done I'm gonna record kind of the details of it and uh, show you that and how it was all put together and uh, if you're wondering the screw that's cut in here that is for the weld seam inside here uh, a lot easier to cut a groove in there and I didn't really want to grind the weld seam out so that's what that's for as well I hope you learned something and uh, if you appreciate my content I'd love to see some interaction and uh, get in the comments and let me know what you think and uh, I'm on Facebook and YouTube at uh, back in the shop and uh, I uh, definitely wouldn't want you to miss out on all the different things I got going and uh, I think they're pretty cool and you can always learn something from content like this so get on there and subscribe and follow me on there so you get a notification when I put up a video and you, you don't miss out over all that. So, Till next time.